Welcome to a day in the life of a software engineer based in beautiful Vienna. Every day at about quarter to eight, I am startled from my peaceful baby-like sleep by the excruciating sound of my iPhone alarm. I ignore it for as long as I can before realizing that the only way out is through. I take off my completely blackout eye mantra sleep mask and I head to the bathroom for my morning shower and routine. Before I proceed with brushing my teeth and the rest of my morning routine, I make a detour to the kitchen to put my breakfast on the stove so it cooks while I get ready, taking productivity to the next level. <laughs> I proceed with brushing my teeth and applying skincare, which I never did prior to this year, by the way. The skincare, of course, not the teeth brushing. <laughs> I'm not a stinker. For those of you interested to know, my breakfast happens to be the exact same thing every single morning. Fried eggs with loads of mozzarella cheese with a side of bread. So since today is a filming day, I'm taking all my filming gear. Over there is the um, Sony A6400. I've got my gimbal. The A6400 has shitty stabilization, so I need the gimbal for that. I've got my laptop. I've got my MX Master 3, and I've got some charging stuff for the camera and the gimbal. You might be wondering, am I missing a laptop charger or not? And I left it out on purpose. I don't need that anymore and i will show you why when i get to the office so like this is my super minimalistic um filming slash work setup over right over here and you'll understand a little bit later when we get to the office i genuinely love laying out everything that i'll need in my bag outside before i start packing them because then i can make sure that i haven't forgotten anything and because it allows me to pack efficiently and with space in mind today the weather is quite rainy which is why i cover my bag with this waterproof covering which actually is a lifesaver if you live in a city where it rains a lot, and believe me, I've learned this the hard way. The streets are absolutely soaked, and to be honest, it's a little bit early in the year for Vienna to have such rainy weather. This kind of gloomy weather is usually quite common in October, which is quite strange given that we're only in the end of August. For those of you that watched my previous videos, you already know that I live walking distance from the office at about a 10 minute walk and I really cherish those short morning walks to the office and they've become really a morning ritual. I can't stress enough how much I love Vienna architecture, like the buildings in this city legit all either have this rustic old look or they look super modern. And of course, how can I even start my day without passing by my favorite coffee place? By the way, I've made an absolutely fantastic promo for them on the other channel, I'll make sure to link it up here if you want to check it out. So now that we're here, let me show you what I meant by that I only need to take my laptop and this mouse. So I already have here a trackpad, I've already got a keyboard, and I've got my mouse with me. There is the monitor there, and here's the thing. This is where it gets super cool. So if I open my laptop here, and I just connect the USB-C that um, connects it to the monitor, Look, that also acts as a charger. So my USB-C 
works as both as a, um, as a charger over there and as a monitor connection. And that's why I don't even need to worry about taking my charger from home. And yeah, super cool. Hello friends and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Ahmed Al-Tefi and I'm a software engineer from Egypt based in Vienna, Austria. Today is another day in the life of the video and I'm very excited to take you with me on this journey today because today is actually a day that I consider the most productive day of the week because it's just because I have a lot of things to do and I really put an effort to organize myself and to be as productive as I could be through this day. So just to give you a little bit of context, today is Monday, first day of the week and this is usually my longest day of the week because I have late meetings that extend to 7, 8 p.m. my time. And the reason for that is that, um, as, you, as some of you might know, I work at Centurion and the headquarters are in San Francisco, which means that, that their time, that San Francisco time zones is six hours either ahead or before. I think it's, it doesn't matter. There's a six hour difference. And um, so when it's 6 p.m. my time, it's 10, p, it's 10 a.m. San Francisco time. And so because I'm working with a team that's based in San, San Francisco, I oftentimes tend to have late meetings and today is the longest one out of them because all my meetings tend to be stacked in today. So I'm excited. I have a lot to do today. I will take you on that journey with me. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. on where I am right now. Um, I'm still working on figuring out what's causing the bug. Um, it's a ton of code to go through and so I'm not entirely sure how to proceed. I'm kind of blocked. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I need a mental break just to think things through. I'm gonna, ha I ordered some lunch. I'm gonna have some lunch now and then I'll get back to it afterwards. See you soon. I made sure to take a break from work because I need to tell you something very, very important. And it's a secret, so don't tell anyone. All right, let me, let me show you. crazy excited I actually solved the bug issue that I was working on and um, yeah so we made good progress today it's almost six which means that I'm gonna just start jumping on my meetings just thought I'd give you an update and uh, yeah seems that I'll be stuck in the office till 8 p.m. today but hey that's part of it So I'm done with all my meetings. I'm done with work for today. It's about 7.45 now. I'm gonna pack my stuff, head home, and then possibly, very possibly hit the gym. 
I'm exhausted though, like extremely tired. Cool. FYI, this is what Vienna looks like at 8 p.m. this time of year. Quite insane that it looks like that when in winter the sun literally goes down at around 4 p.m. 